what do we have here? Well, in my continuing series on props, I thought I'd show you the chemical props that I've made. Is that mutagen ooze? No, actually it's a bunch of uh, plastic hearts or little diamond things with uh, a surround of green and water. Anyway, let's shed some light on the subject. What we have here is a collection of work over many, many years in making props for laboratory situations, whether they're bad guys like the Scarecrow or Gorilla Grodd uh, or uh, uh, legit places like Star Labs, LexCorp, GothCorp, Wayne Enterprises or whatever. And then some video game stuff I did. Anyway, um, you'll see a lot of these brown bottles. There's actually two sizes. Um, I got those from my sister, who was a registered nurse for years. And she uh, would, uh, you know, use them uh, on, on the patient. And then uh, they're empty, so she would not throw them away, but bring them home to me. And so she saved them up because uh, at the time I was in California. And uh, this is how they look when they're used. This is how they look after I cut off the aluminum trim ring thing here. So uh, you'll see there are two sizes, and I have a whole lot of them. I actually, uh, actually got these two tiny ones, too, from her. I don't, I'm not sure what, what that was from. But, um, so that all the brown glass ones are from her. Now, the other ones here are uh, purchased items from Michael's. I haven't been in Michael's for years. I assume they probably still sell this. Um, I would wait for the 20% off coupon and then uh, pick some up. And uh, as you can see, I've acquired many, many of these. And uh, I used them for this little apothecary uh, shelving unit that I that's all my work with popsicle sticks and tongue depressors. <clears throat> so I made a few things for you a few minutes ago just to show you. So this, the first one here with the golden cap, the cap is from a laser pointer. Um, this part is from um, a keychain. Uh, laser pointer. Uh, what's inside is a combination of copper glitter. Um, what fell over? It was loud. Copper glitter, um, plastic shavings from something I drilled, um, and uh, oh, metal shavings, me uh, aluminum metal shavings. So that's what that's all about. Now the second one here is simply um, uh, Truvia, the sweetener, in water and uh, a piece of gum rolled out like a worm. So that's supposed to be some kind of you know, specimen. And then this last one uh, is a marble with a suction cup thing, a bottle. Inside is uh, hot glue. I made like a snake creature. 
you can you can see what it looks like if I put black background there with my hand and uh, some uh, green dye you know uh, when you get your your eyes looked at um, and they put that little uh, strip of uh, dye uh, in your eye that's where I got that uh, I asked my eye doctor hey how much of those cuts he goes no, it's negligible I go do you want to play uh, have a couple he said no sure he gave me a couple so anyway I use those <clears throat> they're fluorescent it's a fl fluorescent dye so um, uh, over here, uh, you have uh, one where I actually put a thermometer inside of it. I, uh, I put a milky uh, water in there. I don't know exactly how I did that, but uh, so you couldn't tell it was actually for thermometer. And uh, you can also use uh, like herbal supplement capsules when I used to pick up garbage. Uh, at a dump zone not far from my house, there would be bottles of herbal supplements, and I would just take these capsules apart and then fill them with, you know, little crystals or whatever. And really, your your imagination is is limitless as far as what you might want to put in them. Just don't mix, you know, noxious chemicals and end up with a chlorine gas or something like that basically anything you wouldn't do in cleaning your house don't do <laughs> when you're making these things one of the things that i've found quite useful um, are these little tiny vials of glitter that you can get at uh, i think the dollar store um, and i've used those quite a bit a lot of the stuff here is just uh you know, pieces of plants, uh, food dye. Uh, some of them uh, around Halloween, I got the the you know the fake blood. So, yeah. What else? Oh, um, if you have anybody that has. Uh, fertilizer like orchid fertilizer or even um, rapid grow any any uh, stuff that dissolves in water you can uh, take the crystallized or the crystals put them into uh, a container put a little water on them and, and they actually crystallize and grow um, I've made some real big crystals but these are smaller ones um, these little trays, by the way, except for the first one here, which is simply plastic from uh, an action figure uh, clamshell. These other two little metal ones are from makeup cases. You know, they had uh, blush or, or whatever, and you know, one of those little cases. Uh, they're just put in with a like a sticky glue like the kind you you, you have uh, when you get a credit card in the mail, you have that little sticky stuff on the back. So if you're careful, you can peel those off, uh, pop them off pretty easy without bending them because they're very, very thin aluminum, but they make cool lab trays. Yeah, here's, I used wax for the top. Uh, you can use uh, oil and water, they don't mix, <laughs> so you get a layered look. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll try to put um, some of the diorama uh, work that includes these chemicals in the comment section. So if you're interested in looking at them, in in that vein just look at the comments oh one final thing i had not forgot to mention you you can get these little sample uh perfume bottles uh you wouldn't necessarily want to use the, the the fancy tops but um the bottles are cool and usually the um 
advertisement or the name on it, you can just peel off because it's a plastic adhesive, pl piece of plastic with adhesive on it. Anyway, you grab your goo gone and go to go to task. So, for various chemicals, I'm out.